Hey, it's Joe Glines from the Automator, and a while ago I released a video on a tool that will help you take notes with VLC, and in it I had actually referenced the ACC library, but I forgot to include the link to it, and what I decided to do when I updated this was to go back and actually pull out the functions from the ACC library, and I thought, you know what, actually documenting how I do that, not that it's the best way, but it might be a fun way to do this, so let's first jump into the code. Here we go. So this is the, the current code without pulling it in. Just have the single list for us. Here I'm changing the tray icon to, to be the VLC icon, just to remind me this I'm doing. Now this you can just comment out. Um, this browser reload, I commented out because you probably don't want that, but for testing purposes, it's a great one to have. Here, the browser back, this is my toggle switch. This would be the hotkey that you want to build, you know, to when you want to be able to stop. Basically, and we're going to demonstrate it so you can get an idea of, of what I'm doing here. Here's the fun part, right? The control send, QTV hits the space bar. This is straight up using the control send functionality, right? But what I thought would be really cool is let's get the timestamp that we're at in that video. Because when I'm taking notes, I'd like to be able to know where I am in that video. So let me go ahead and demonstrate here. I'm going to launch it. So it should be running now. Um, Come back to Opus. I'll hit my hotkey. Hello, oh, Davidson. And he's representing uh, Director Opus. So then I would say, oh, okay, let me let me bring up, let's say I'm in Word. Let's start Word. Now, on my clipboard, you notice right here it says clipboard, right? When I paste, this is the time that I was at seven seconds. Um, director Opus Leo Davidson. Right now I can hit my hotkey. And then Jean Alain, of course, from Quick Access pop up. Paste. Of course, because I have a hot string for him from, of course, for VIP. Anyway, you get the idea, right, how easy this is. I can hit my hotkey. I don't even have to switch to VLC because this, con oops, sorry, this control send doesn't require for that video to be even visible, let alone a um, active, right? It's going to activate it, send the space functionality there. This ACC function here, now this is where it gets interesting, right? When I expand this, you'll see, hey, this Play pause tool VLC2 is leveraging, it's in, using, because the ACC library is in my function library, right? That's where I put everything. That means I don't have to use an include, which I really like. A lot of people don't like that. I personally love it because then I don't have to worry about it. Of course, when you go to share this with someone, just like I did, you can screw up because you forget, oh crap, I, I didn't see an include. I totally didn't realize I need to do this. Now, the painful part, now this one wasn't too painful, but the painful part is, Let's say, instead of just dumping the entire ACC library, let's take a look at it. Um, it's not that big. I think it's 270 rough lines. I flattened it a bit just because I like the one line. So 179 lines. Um, I basically went through. I got rid of a little documentation at top because it hasn't been touched in quite a while. Let's see, since, yeah, 2012, it looks like. Um, what I did was, this was like, the every one of these was like this. So, you know, I cleaned it up. Not cleaned it up. But there's no right or wrong, right? But for, personally, I like this a little better. Um, so we could copy this whole thing and paste it into here and be done, right? The thing is, in this ACC library, not every function is used, you know, in here, from here. This ACC get is the one function. Of course, though, if we jump to an Alt F1 in Studio, oh, and now it's, it, it's going to ask us which one we want to go to. Let's go to this one. The ACC get actually leverages here. Oh, look, here's an ACC from window. Oh, here's ACC error. These are inside here, right? That means you have to go through each one of these. And that's where it can be a little painful, right? So here's what I do. Um, come in here, copy everything. Oh, so I copied it all. Now I'm going to bring in, actually, let's move this over. And I'm going to bring up site. And I'm going to paste it here. And now we're going to come into, now actually I'm going to cheat Eh, let's see. So in here, what we can do is change, let's zoom in a bit. We're going to search for every ACC underscore and replace that with just ACC. Well, keep in lowercase. So replace all. I did 46 replacements. Right now, everything, now of course this wouldn't actually work if you left it in the library because uh, that's how the library, I don't know how to even say that properly. But auto hockey will look for everything with the uh you know the first words and the underscore and then everything underneath it can all be in one file uh, however we're going to put this you know the specific things into here um, and then what we could do 
is come back into here to VLC2 and say, I'm going to change this to this, and we're going to bring in, so ACC get, right? So, oh, okay, I need to find this one. Okay. ACC get, find that. Oh, that's... Let's look for the ending print. Here we go. Okay, now this is a bigger one, right? We, we noticed that before. So it looks like down to here. No, I got the if error. That's interesting. No, that's part of it. Sorry, it's just zoomed in a bit. Oh, look at that. It's there. That was ACC get. I'm having a hard time seeing where this one ends. I don't think it ends there. I think this is the whole thing there. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to try to launch it. Right? Now Studio is going to say, hey, wait a minute. Call an audit system function, specifically ACC object from window. So then I would come back here. Let's see. Can I copy this? Object from window. It'd be nice if I put that paran just to make sure. So I'm now going to bring this over. Copy this. Paste it. All right? And then try to run it again. R. Hey, um, call it on session. ACC error, right? And let's get, there we go. I'll copy all that. Control F. So see how I'm doing this, right? And it's, it's a little painful, but it's not the end of the world. I went through, and let me just show you. I went through on everything, and that is what this file, which I'll maximize now. This file, which has a total of 178 lines. So it looks like it did bring in a lot of what was over there, right? But not necessarily everything. Anyway, this is more of a process. Oh, look at that. There's some big blocks here that if we cared to, we could get rid of. Um, because in... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm in the wrong thing. With this, this, this. Why is that including the ACC library? That should no longer... Huh, we'll see. Why is that including the ACC library? This one should not be including the ACC library. Let's see if ACC underscore. Ha! Huh, look at that. I don't know how I did that. Um, this should be like that. And like that. I see several of them. What? So clearly I missed some when I was doing this earlier. The problem was it was still in my library, so I didn't notice it. Go figure, right? Good thing that we, we tested this. So I'm going to save this, relaunch, and now, see, now it's saying, hey, here's this ACC role that I didn't have. So did I, hopefully didn't, yeah, ACC role. Here we go. So here's, which is a very short one. Copy that. ACC roll. Save. Run. And ACC roll text. Which might be... I thought, I thought those might be alphabetical, but it doesn't seem to be. I don't know. Oh, get roll text. Excuse me. There we go. So now that launched... I'm going to code product control. Oh, it's control R. That's my hotkey. There we go. So see down here now, VLC with ACC isn't including that um, library. That's how now I know this is working right. Now I can go back and update my download. So we're down to 130 lines. And that's looking better. But now it's self-contained. I can share this script with everybody. And, and granted, if someone updates the ACC library, it may break. But... Someone may update the ACC library, and that might break, you know, if, if I'm forcing people to include it, or they can't find the same version that I had. And so there's pros and cons of including the files, the functions in your library instead of keeping them as a separate file. And the other one is just people don't understand often that they need to include, use that include, or put it in a certain folder. This takes care of it, right? It puts it all in one. Now, granted, again, I could have put the entire thing in there, but I just don't like taking up all the extra space, you know, and having functions you don't need, it just adds for confusion. So, hope this video helps, even if you, and just like that ACC play pause for taking notes, it's very helpful when you're trying to make a lot of notes from watching a video. Hey, and I forgot to mention, please like this video, it really helps me get more views, which uh, means I'll make more videos. So, thanks for liking, cheers.